Good morning, Alpine. Um, it is Tuesday morning. Uh, last night, we announced that we are going to be opening up next Monday. It's super exciting. We're very grateful that uh, we are part of that first phase to do so. Um, with opening up, though, there are some questions that many of you have expressed to us about what that's going to look like, specifically for class structure and uh, programming. So I'm here to answer those questions. Uh, as you can see, I've got the skeletal system behind me. Why am I saying that? I literally just noticed it and it's falling down, whatever. But um, let's just go right into it. Uh, programming, uh, last five weeks, we've done a lot of high volume, body weight and low load workouts, all right? We're honestly very conditioned right now. Um, to do such a thing. What we're not conditioned to do or really so much able to do the last five weeks is get under a heavy barbell or lift a heavy barbell. At least 90% of us were not able to. Um, so because of that, a lot of the first four to six weeks, mostly four weeks of this uh, first cycle back is going to be a lot of uh, linear progression, tempo, work, uh, especially in those power lifts, back squat, front squat, deadlift, um, accessory pushing and pulling of the upper body. Um, specifically, that's 10 minute EMOM, we're gonna do two back squats. Um, each of them has a two second descent, two second pause at the bottom, and then explode up. You can do two of those every minute for 10 minutes and build to your heaviest. Uh, you're thinking, I can't get that heavy uh, due to the tempo. That's the point. Um, if I was to even myself tell you or me physically go and try to do a one rep max back squat right now, I one would not lift that much. And two, there's a good chance I would hurt myself because it's been so long since that's happened. And that's not what we want. Our main goal and priority during all of this and in general has always been and will continue to be your safety. All right. And especially in this pandemic time with COVID and us being able to open up, um, we want to be as safe as possible. Um, now, we've done a lot of pushing. We've done, yeah, a lot of pushing from push up to, you know, the push presses that we have today in our workout shoulders of a god. Um, that being said, uh, we haven't been able to hang a lot. Hanging gymnastics hasn't really been a thing. So we need to progress back into it. I'm not going to have you suddenly do on Monday uh, 150 pull-ups because we have Murph at the end of the month. No, that's not going to happen. We're going to progress into it. That being said, there are going to be rep ranges for workouts or accessory part of our workouts. The lower ranges for people that were unable to hang during quarantine and do uh, hanging gymnastics. The upper part of that range is for people who were able to. So we are going to be able to cater everyone in that sense. Um, once again, that is because I'm not going to make people who have not done a pull-up in five weeks do a bunch of them. It's a good way if you get injured and I don't see you again. That's not what I want. I miss you guys already. I've missed you guys since day one of quarantine. Um, Olympi Olympic lifting technique. Uh, you guys actually did that yesterday if you did the extra gains. It was a power clean plus front squat plus full clean or clean, what I like to call, um, into a split jerk with a two second pause. Um, it's barbell cycling and Olympic lifting technique work all in one. You're going to be seeing that too. So if you did it yesterday, you're ahead of the game. Awesome. If not, you're going to do it either way. Um, there's going to be a lot of structural stability, especially with that upper body. All right. That could be, actually, I know off the top of my head, um, that's going to be some tempo strict presses into so tempo, not tempo, so tempo strict presses into some push presses. And then we have some tempo pull-ups. Doing a pull-up, pause at the top, six seconds down, or something like that. Um, it's gonna be a lot uh, like what Nate and I had us do um, about a year and a half ago. Um, like I said, we're not getting back to basics, but I'm making sure that when we get back into the gym, I'm not trying to throw at you some blog programming that's not catered to you, all right? We want to make sure we're doing this correctly. Um, there are going to be movements that we will not be doing. Um, those are ones that, you know, your face is towards or on the ground. 
Um, you guys are gonna love what I'm about to say, but you will not be doing burpees while at the gym. Hold in for the applause. You're welcome. Um, but that does not mean I will not be programming them for extra gains and stuff like that. Because let's be honest here, the second I'm allowed to do, allowed to give you guys burpees, oh, we're going to do that. Love you. Um, Murph prep. Mur Murph is supposed to happen about a month from now. Um, as of right now, we're still going to go on with that. Um, like I was saying, with our uh, hanging gymnastics, we'll progress into that you will be able to do the 100 pull-ups and Murph and be okay and not get injured. You guys are more than able to do all those push-ups and all those air squats because that's all we've done the last five weeks. But the push-up, I mean, but the pull-ups are what we really need to focus on and get that strength back. Everything from some freaking bicep curls to actual pull-ups. Um, you know, like I said, there's more focus on hanging. Uh, if you have any other questions about the workouts, please call me, email me, text me, carrier pigeon, letter, whatever you feel. Um, there are going to be people that uh, do not come back to the gym at first, and I completely understand that. I really, really do. We all want to be as safe as possible, and I can say extremely confidently that we are going to be taking the steps better than anyone else in Colorado to make sure that you are as safe as possible at the gym. But there's still going to be people that do not show up. But you know what? That's okay because there's still going to be at-home versions of every single workout. It's going to be just like we were doing where we had the initial workout, minimal equipment, no equipment. I'm still going to give you all of that so that you can still, you know, post on our leaderboard, stay in the community even though you're not with us at this time until you do come back. Because we're all about community. We all love each other. We all want to be able to do the same workout. Because it's fun. Um, so that's the programming. Now let's talk about the schedule. We are adding a few classes now. Why is that? Because we can only have 10 people in the gym at one time. That's one coach and nine members. Um, the schedule is going to be the following. Which is going to be at the bottom of this video description. Or this email. Or this post. Social media. Um, we're going to have a 5.30, 6.30, 7.30, 8.30 a.m. class every single day. Noon every single day. And then a 4.30, 5.30, 6.30 p.m. every day. Now, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we'll be adding a 3.30 p.m. class. And then Tuesdays and, 30, Tuesdays and Thursdays, we will be having a kids class at that 3.30 p.m. time. We will not... We do not have that uh, turbo class anymore because it is getting replaced with that 3.30 class. Um, Saturday schedule will include the classes 7 a.m., 8 a.m., 9 a.m., and 10 a.m. Now, open gym. We, because of the fact that there is, <clears throat> there, there are, sorry, so many classes and we can only have a limited number of people in the gym, there is not allowed to be open gym people working out while their class is going. So with that schedule that I just told you guys, uh, the open gym slots are following. Um, Monday through Friday, it is 9.30 a.m. to noon. Uh, there's actually two slots in there. There's a 90 minutes and then the last hour of that two and a half hour window. If you are going to reserve and think that it's going to go into that next one, reserve for both slots. And then a 1 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. Um, like I said, there will be no open gym going on, uh, during classes. So with that being said, I do understand that there is quite a few of us, including myself that do that extra, um, comp programming for Alpine, or we do different programming in the open gym. If those time slots do not work, jump into a class, my friends. Please jump into a class. Um, methodology of CrossFit is intensity. Intensity breeds results. I've said this to all of my athletes uh, since I started being a coach. Cool. You can do a lot of volume, but can you do a lot of work quickly or move loads quickly? Um, what I'm trying to say is the volume might be a little bit less this first month just because it's not opened up 
for you to have this open gym time, jump into a class. Compete against all of, uh, everyone that does a class. Myself, I'll be in there. Let's go. Let's do a little competition, see who can win. Um, I can guarantee you that we're going to get fitter, especially this first month, because we're back with the people and working out hard and having a good time. Uh, rant over. Um, last thing I want to say, you must reserve classes. Reserve your class. Um, with that being said, it is going to be, you're going to be able to reserve for classes two days beforehand um, and no, no time sooner. Um, please make sure that you are reserving for a class that you know you will make. Don't be like, mm, I might make the 4.30. Um, because if you don't show up, that is one person that, there's one person that could have possibly worked out. Um, so yeah, that's all I really want to talk about during this now 11 minute video that went by pretty quickly. But yeah, if you have questions about programming, um, always send me a message. If you have questions about the schedule, um, always send me a message. Oh, last part. Um, for class structure, we are going to have, we, we actually have X's marked on the ground where people can stand during briefing, during working out with a barbell, when on the pull-up rig, when doing wall balls. Coaches are going to be having masks on while they coach. You guys are more than welcome to uh, have masks on while you work out. You don't have to. And then the big thing, the two big things, you will now be coming into the gym through Pat's door. If you don't know what that is, that is when you're walking in the uh, main entrance is in front of you. And then there's that door on the left. You're going to go through that door and then you're going to exit through the main entrance. When you walk in, uh, you must take your temperature or show us a, a self check, which means that you at your house, you took your temperature, you sent us a picture, showed us a picture that you do not have a fever. All right. And then everyone must, must, must clean their equipment off when they're done. And to help with that, our classes are now 50 minutes long. Um, why 10 minutes less? Because we want to make sure that 10 minutes is there to clean everything up. Because like I said, our main priority, number one priority, especially now, is to keep you as safe as possible. If you have any more questions, um, like I said, email me, text me, call me, carry a pigeon, blah, blah, blah. Love you all. See you soon. Bye.